guys, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Versus. My name is Tyler Cedarwall. Uh, and my name is Josh Jefferson. Why are we whispering? My name is Game Boy Luke. We don't want to wake pretty up sure. Game Boy Luke. Oh, he's already awake? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've done that as an intro before. <laughs> no, I just I didn't want to wake up Game Boy Luke because he's... He just... He's I felt tired. like if he slept through the first half of the episode, then we could have a head we start. Win. Yeah. But... <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you either, Luke. <laughs> In is fact, it, some would say that I hate you. It's always gonna creep you when people. That's that's, that's a lie. I know that's a lie. <laughs> I was just <laughs> just before the recording, I'm like, you know, Luke, I'm really proud of you. Your channel's doing really well. I'm really proud of you. As soon as you start recording, fuck you, Luke. You I hate you. Fucking hate you, man. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> Suck a dick. I hated Game Boy Luke before it was cool. <laughs> 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 How oh, come? Man. How come you don't ever like evolve your channel name? How come you're not like? Don't! I swear to God, Tyler, I will hurt you. Why are you not Nintendo DS, Luke? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Nintendo's kind of overrated now. You should be like the is it PC PSV PSP P PSP <laughs> PS Vita and my suffering PS Vita Luke and my suffering. Oh, God. Oh, how come I there isn't you. a handheld Xbox thing yet? Because Microsoft doesn't want to make money. That because Microsoft is smart. They know they're not going to be able to compete with Nintendo in the handheld market. Or phones, for that matter. That's true. Guys, so, Nintendo's hey, stock bitch. is up so high right now. It's up to... It's like, I think at 27, and like a few days ago, it was at 13. Yeah. Pokemon I wish Go, I would have invested in Nintendo stock before Pokemon I Go know, came right? out. I right? I was thinking about that. I'm like, man, I could have just dropped like $1,000 or something on Nintendo stock. I'd be making bank right now. Wait, how much how, Nintendo? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to crunch numbers. How, how much would you have got back off that? Uh, I have no idea how stock see. works, honestly. Um. Well, I don't actually know what the numbers are. Mm -hmm. Um. I know it went up by a lot, so... Yeah! <laughs> also, can you just, like, buy stock of a company like Nintendo just willy-nilly, like, just randomly? Or is it all sold out? Um... That's a good question. I don't know anything about the stock market. Yeah, no, I, don't the I don't market. crunch numbers as whatsoever, so... I mean, I know you can make crazy money by pretty much doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, you gotta have money to make money, right? That's true. That is true! The same, for, nice. same for YouTubers, people who have... More subscribers just more easily make money, and then it's just like a big circle. Once you like get into like those, so those algorithms, into, like some sort of gigantic lawsuit, you're good. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> when I started my channel, I, the one thing I really needed to like get myself going was a uh, 3DS capture card. Yeah, and yeah. they were they're, they're, they're like built in Japan and they're imported in, so it's like five hundred dollars yeah. for the whole thing. Then it's like fifty dollars shipping, and then when it gets to the door, it's like seventy dollars import taxes, which is a lot of money, right? Yeah, Me, being in college, I got college grants, and I was sat there staring at it, and I was like, do I spend my college money on a 3DS capture card? <laughs> and you know what? Dude. fucking did it. Oh, <laughs> man. Should, I need to get a 3DS capture card, because that would open up a lot more games for Versus, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of 3DS games that I would love to do for Versus. I'm just way too poor. <laughs> yeah, they're Maybe really, they, they are dumb expensive. They are dumb expensive, I can't lie. Um, yeah. I was, I, I'm really fortunate. A lot, a lot of people buy them and they break very, very easily. I'm lucky to still have the two I have, and they, none, neither of them are broken yet. Knock on wood. Yeah, mine. mine well, you didn't have two break. of them. Yeah. Why do you have two? One for each region, so I can get like US games early because it because everything gets late brought out in the UK real late, like so. Mm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I have one. I have one. I got one. Mine. Like a couple years ago, and it still works great. I actually had my old 3DS converted. Uh, like I didn't buy a 3DS from from the. From oh, so you sent yours guy. in? Yeah, I sent. Is it mine Loopy? In. Loopy probably built yours your one then. I imagine. Uh, is that the guy from the 3DS Capture dot com? Yeah, there's two. There's Katsukitty and then there's Loopy. Loopy does. It's yeah, it's Loopy. Yeah. Then it's definitely not Katsukitty. Do they do them for the newest 3DS? Katsukitty yes. does them for all of them. Loopy does it only for the small 3DS. Okay, I really want to get a new 3DS just because. I love yeah, the, I get, I love I the tracking for the 3D. It's just so awesome. My roommate has one, and it's it's nice. It actually does work really well. It the only time it doesn't work really well is in the dark because it can't see your face very well. Yeah, but who plays video games in the dark? 
Uh, <laughs> Yo, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, but that reminds me of uh, like the struggles as a kid having the Game Boy in the back of the car and it being night and trying to play. Every crossing street lamp that went by, you'd be like, ah, Oh I, my god, yeah! What? Oh yeah, like uh, way back before, like when you had to put little lights in your Game Boy. The snake lights? The magnifying lights. glass, the magnifying Oh my god, yeah, well, there, there was that, but then there was also the snake lights too. I don't think I ever used the magnifying glass, but I didn't use a snake light. Mine was like a little... It actually like folded down and covered my Game Boy screen when I wasn't using it. Oh, it's kind of like the magnifying glass one, but not really. Yeah, there was like just the so many glass attachments. One also does that. Did you guys have that attachment where you could like they also drain your battery? <laughs> where you could swipe cards and play games from the cards. Oh, e swipe. oh, the e-reader, e-reader. E yeah, it was such a random thing, and the games weren't even that great <laughs> that you could swipe into it. I'm not. It's kind of like it's kind of like early Amiibo, kind of in a way. Yeah, there were Nintendo's a bunch of, really there were like a bunch the of... only gaming company that's tried to just add tons of additions to its consoles. It seems. Yeah. Yeah, like a Nintendo, like people give Nintendo a hard time for making like gimmicky stuff, but sometimes it works. Like sometimes it's just like really fun, interesting new things. But at least they're trying stuff and they're not yeah. just trying to be safe, you know? Yeah, yeah they make really lot, cool because you could uh, constantly like, try to innovate. You could swipe yeah. like Pokemon cards into like Colosseum and stuff like that, which is really yeah, cool. Yeah, you could. Oh, really? That's cool. Oh, yeah, couldn't you really also neat. like? Uh, I'm just trying to think. How did the Tingle Tuner work for the GameCube? I remember that was like a big thing. Like it was oh, really so actually ha hard to find <clears throat> the attachment for that. Was it really? Because it was just a Game Boy Advance. Yeah, I was gonna say it's really, Game that's Boy Advance common. in with no the cord. The cord that you connected a Game Boy Advance to your GameCube. I think that cord was like hard to find. That cord, yeah, I can see why that would be tough to find. Um, but like, I mean, it came with certain games. So I think that was like, like you before could you could them. just buy stuff online whenever you wanted. Or maybe you could. I was just too <laughs> young and didn't have a credit card and couldn't buy stuff online in the first place. So Don't unless I found it at a store, you bitch. So unless I found it at a store, I wasn't it wasn't really an option for me. Yeah, fair. So that's probably what made it hard to find. I'm sure you, I could have bought it online if I had an account. Like, if I wanted to buy one today, it'd probably be pretty easy, actually. Is it also yeah, what man. you use for four swords? Yes. Yeah. Because because me and Shady did a. We haven't actually uploaded it yet, so this is mad spoilers. But me and Shady recorded four swords um, for the GameCube, and we had to we had to hunt down a cable and a, and a GBASP to play it, to play the game fully. I, I remember seeing Super Genius' setup for it when he was doing that back with Josh oh and Tim and Pico on his channel, like, back in 2012, so long ago. But he had, like, like four of the connectors. He had, he had, like, the most insane setup no, so for that series he, ever. So here's what he did. Here's what he had. So he had... He didn't have four Game Boy Advances. He had four GameCubes. Yo, me and Shady were talking about that. Like, imagine if you set that up with, like, the Game Boy Player mm -hmm. and stuff. That'd be sick. Four GameCubes with four Game Boy Players and then the, if, an additional fifth GameCube for the actual game. No, the game's on and Wii? Oh, no, are you talking about four? Oh, never mind. Four Swords Adventures on the GameCube. Yeah, Bruh. so he had so he had the one GameCube with the, the Four Swords Adventures on it, and then he had... Four Dazzles, four, I think, to record all yeah. of them. Oh my yeah. god, and then, it's so it, sick. We had, like, five computers going in that room, all recording simultaneously. I'm surprised nothing went wrong for those episodes. That's sick. <laughs> that's so cool. That, that's, like, it's my so, dream LP. It's so unfortunate that that didn't get finished with all the work that was put into it. I know, I know. Because that's back when Isn't Nicole Ch had Chug is doing that now, right? What's that? Chug is doing that right now, right? Yeah, the Runaway guys are. Are they mm. doing, like, in, in that... In depth, though, I believe they're doing their. What's that? Are they that in depth with their Let's Play of it, though? Like, are they? They're doing yes. the GameCube thing. Yeah. It's actually almost identical. Oh dang. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Chega's always got all out too. That's true. Yeah. Well, they've been. They've been it's, it's funny because they've been talking about doing um, Force Words Adventures for a long time. They actually put off Force Words Adventures because Jake was doing Force Words Adventures with us, and and two of the Runaway guys were involved in it. Too. Mm. Well, I'm, I I I I was considered to be more a part of the Runaway guys at the time, to I the public, because I was doing. I, you I only did, like, did one series with them, though, didn't you? No, I didn't. I also did New Super Mario Bros. Wii with them. Oh, I remember that. I thought that was the only one you did with them. Nope, I did the original Mario Bros. Super New Super Mario Bros. as well, or like New Super Mario Bros. Wii and the New Super Mario Bros. U. I we did both. Oh, okay. I don't remember you doing U. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, well, now you know. <laughs> There's just so many Let's Plays to keep up with at this point. It used to be a lot easier back when 
everyone had was just still kind of starting, but now there's just like so many less players now and just so much. There's loads, yeah. This is hard to keep up nowadays unless you're just super into it, which I'm not. Like I, when I was younger, in high school, I had a lot more free time. I feel like it was a lot easier to keep up with that kind of stuff. But now I'm an adult with responsibilities and stuff. You yeah, gross responsibilities. Yuck. Right. And it's just hard to keep up rich. with that stuff as much. What? <laughs> hey, so like, the game, Pokemon Fire Red, what you guys up to in the game, Pokemon Fire Red? I I'm am in the fighting dojo right now. I said last episode I wanted to go here just to get money and experience, but it's not, it, I don't feel like it was worth my time because I'm gaining no experience for being in here. So. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine you would get that much experience. Aren't they all like level 30s? Yeah. 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 So you might get like one level from that uh, whole entire thing. Do not heal. Do not heal. Do not heal. I'm finishing up no three way. islands. I'm almost done. I forgot that since I had started the islands, heal. I have to like go through the whole entire like story process. Which yeah, is that's obnoxious. what scares me. I don't want to get locked into doing it all. Yeah. Wait, what? You've already done it. The Both story. of you have already done it. The story progress? The story on the islands? Oh, you only need to do the part right up until you have to go back to one island to talk to Celio. Because oh. you have to rescue the girl from Three Island, don't you? Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. I did. Did I do that? I think I did. Yes, you, you, you did. You definitely did. I went into did. that. How am I not? I don't know, man. You're uh, you're insane, Luke. You're going I, crazy. I this am. Is all, this is all a fever dream. Redonk, man. But on my uh, practice file, five. I made it to the Elite Four, and I started fighting the very first member, and I couldn't even beat the first one. I mean, I only attempted it one time because. I mean, to be fair, I couldn't beat Lorelei as well. She's a Lorelei. fuck. We we literally gonna be here for the next like seven videos just trying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're stuck. We're all stuck in the same position because we didn't grind. We are. We'll, I didn't we'll see. Once I once I get to we'll Victory see. Road, if none of you guys have beaten it, like once I've beaten Victory Road, we could possibly have like one. I don't think we're gonna need it. I don't think by then. I don't think we're gonna need it. Yeah, we're at the kind of like, we're fair. kind of at the point now where like there's not really not a point to have a grinding session. Like, we might as well just show up everything since we've shown everything so far. Yeah, yeah why not? So. Then we can talk about important things like and we can be like banterous and talk like about boys. Things. We can talk like about boys, boys and talk about boys. <laughs> you want, boys, you want... boys, boys. I like boys in cars. Boys, boys, boys. <laughs> Buy me drinks in bars. Boys, boys. Sorry, old, some old school Lady Gaga no, just slipped out. <laughs> I'm not sure. I feel like wasn't there a rumor that Lady Gaga was gonna stop making music? There was a rumor that Lady Gaga was a dude. I remember that one. Oh yeah, dude. I feel like that was one of those rumors that she purposely fed because there was like, I remember there was one video where apparently like her penis like slipped out of her underwear or something like on stage. <laughs> like it was like a screenshot or something. Like I almost guarantee she probably like wore a strap on or something. And like had that happen <laughs> just for like the extra publicity, <laughs> just for the exposure, yeah. Because why wouldn't you? Like if it may, if it literally. <laughs> because why wouldn't you? I mean, uh, if people are talking about you. That's all that matters in the entertainment world, honestly. And mm -hmm. like a rumor like that, like oh my god, they have a penis. Like it's such like a petty rumor. It's not like an actually bad thing that like insults your character or anything. So. That's true. Talking it's not about like, that, you know, PewDiePie it's not like Michael video. Jackson like touching little boys or something like that's like bad PR. But like, do you see, do you see PewDiePie's video about um, all these like news websites put their put his name in the titles of their like reports and stuff, falsely reporting shit just to kind of get the clicks. Yeah, it's a really, really interesting. Yeah, because he and he called them out. He was just like, you guys, like, it was basically this thing with Warner Bros. Uh, and a bunch of YouTubers were involved, but because PewDiePie was involved, his name was, was thrown straight into it. What game was it? Shadows of Mordor, right? Something like that, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember that. He did a yeah, brand deal with them. I was a part and of that then... promotion. Oh, yeah, he were. Um, I was a part of that promotion. I got a call from a guy from Warner Brothers. It was like, hey, can you remove your video? <laughs> <laughs> remove it? <laughs> what? Why remove it? Yeah. Did you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's whatever. It's an old video, and nobody was really watching it anyway, but... Why they ask you to remove it? Because it was illegal. <laughs> <laughs> for I them would... to have paid me and not made me say stuff about it in the video. Yeah. Wait, what? Although I did, I did, I did. It was in the title of the video. It was like sponsored video, but 
because I'm, yeah. I'm well, usually like, really... So the whole thing was, PewDiePie even said like in the description of his video that it was sponsored. I don't think he said like in the right. actual so, commentary of the but, video yeah, that but it they was sponsored. Yeah, but they were meant to tell... Uh, it wasn't well. It was made in 2014, right? Uh, and, and in 2015, they made it so any sponsored videos had to be declared, right? That's that, yes. that's, that was the gist of it. And because it was before that time, uh, Warner Bros. didn't say anything about, you know, make sure you give it a mention in the video. Don't forget to say that this is a sponsored video, blah, blah, blah. Then the Precisely. policy changed, and then they called up and was like, ah, oh, change it. Exactly. That was explained very well. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't, Yay. I feel like for videos that are two years old, like, why does it matter that much? It's like one sponsored video. Be I feel like because, it's not that big of a right, deal. Like, well, it's not one sponsored video. It's like a thousand because they sent out and paid like, like tens of thousands of dollars. More than that, probably. Probably hundreds of thousands <laughs> of dollars to creators. So it's actually really a big deal. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's clearly. It's, <laughs> I do know, but I don't really have too much of an opinion on it. I just feel, I, I feel like it's Tyler, bad that they're really dragging like PewDiePie through it. I am really laid back. Nothing really upsets me, honestly. No, I know. I treat you like shit, and you're still like totally <laughs> fine with me. <laughs> so, yeah, any other person in the world wouldn't have dealt with you as long as I have. <laughs> so you got lucky you got paired with me and not anybody else in the world. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. <laughs> but I have my moments too. It's okay. Not you mean do. moments. Never mean to you. You suck. All the time. I just have moments where I get lazy. Yeah. Well, I mean, same, really. Yeah. I mean, I'm just kind of a lazy person. I make gaming videos on the internet. <laughs> I'm not out like digging ditches or anything difficult or any strenuous manual labor. Digging ditches and killing bitches. <laughs> oh yeah. You know how it is. Oh, the thug life. Yeah. That's why I'm digging ditches so I can bury the killed bitches in the ditches. Have you guys seen that video of uh, the, the guy that tried to pull a prank on a fast food server at the drive-thru? No. And he he has so he has basically what happens is he pulls up the camera's rolling on the on the, on the window, and he holds out his credit card to give to the girl, and the credit card's a gag card that shocks her, and and immediately after she gets shocked, she throws his drink at him and shuts the door. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame her. I like there was people so in the great. comments saying that she should get fired for that because like she could have ruined the interior of his car and that's illegal. But like, no, fuck him. <laughs> like. I yeah, feel like exactly. it's, also a, it's also a to shock people. Go around shocking random people. Yeah, precisely. That's not okay. I wonder if she actually did get fired. Probably. I would feel really <laughs> bad. Yeah. Because you're already be working fair. for like minimum wage at like a shitty location, and like I feel like working yeah, fast food like, is of kind of prank. Prank the like the douchey rich guy with his like fucking fancy ass car. Yeah, you go know, and key someone's fucking... really nice car. That's a good prank. <laughs> yes, go and key someone's really nice car. Kids, kids, listen up. If you not see a Lamborghini, key with the Tyler shit out right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe not. Oh man, I'm learning Skull Bash. That's a fucking awesome move. Um, no, this it's sounds not. like really inappropriate. No, it's not really. Fucking. I mean, it's, it's powerful. <laughs> I'm but... sorry, just kind of, just kind of bust you. <laughs> It, it, but it, it takes a it takes a turn. Wait, so can they interrupt me? No. Like they can with other moves, or does it no. just take two turns? It just takes two turns, and you Luke, get a defense what's your, boost. After Luke, you use what's your little... opinion on skull fucking? <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, it's really it's a work of art. Mm -hmm. How much? One hundred percent a work of art. Wow, that's just really it's such solid. a beautiful thing. Should it's... I get rid of Mega Punch for this? I kind of feel like I shouldn't. Do it. You don't know. Oh, but it's so good, dude. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep. Just oh, but I've got bite. Do it. <laughs> bite is bad though. But it's dark type. It's like my only dark type move. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of Mega Punch for it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just fucking it all day long. I'm skull, skull fucking, fucking it. it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 gotta keep. Gotta keep the commentary relevant to what we just said. <laughs> I got a max ether. Hell yeah. That's exactly what I wanted, actually. I want all the ethers. Dude, are the ethers, right? ethers, or ethers are ethers? fucking valuable. That ether. 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 Depends which part, of the, which part of the world you're from. Like, I'm pretty sure in the UK it's, e it's ether, maybe? For some reason. I'd be called ethernet cables. You call them ethernet cables? 
Oh, yeah, I yeah. call them Ethernet cables. But I remember one word I used to always mispronounce. I always used to say the word gluten. I always used to pronounce it glutton for some reason. And I don't know why. <laughs> glutton free. My friends would always make fun of me because I'd always say glutton. Yeah. And they'd be like, you mean gluten. <laughs> and every single time I would forget and I would always still call it glutton. I would always, for some reason, think glutton was the right pronunciation. Cool story, bro. I never remember. It was an actual, it was a pandemic. It was, it was terrible. It was the thing. It was an epidemic. Is epidemic. That what you said? <laughs> I said pandi you pandemic, but I, I was going to say that epidemic would have right. been a better word. A, a, a pandemic. <laughs> See, I don't know my words very well. Sure. Honestly, I'm not a very smart person. <laughs> oh, you know, man, I'm, really, you know I'm really not going anywhere in this game right now. Well, start going somewhere because I'm going to beat you if you don't. You probably will. I actually, actually. I think I may have a, I have a very good chance of destroying you. Mm -hmm. My team, uh, the thing is, I... This this first battle should be easy because it's all water types. I have my Jolteon, but Jolteon can't kill anything to save his fucking life. It's so it, Dugong always survives with the Slithera health every single time. Jinx is faster than my whole team pretty much and just goes ahead and puts everyone asleep. So I get to I get to Lapras. Thunder doesn't kill Lapras, and then this Jinx just sits here, puts everyone asleep, and fucks me up. And it's like I, I just get stuck here on this first battle. Once I get past the second and the third, are possible to do. They're easier than beating. Lorelei, which shouldn't be! That's not how it should be, okay? Do you have the Lorelei. opportunity to heal your Pokemon in between the members with items? Yeah, but you, I have no money. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true, <laughs> that's I forgot. True. Yeah. Because I keep coming so, in here, leaving, I lose money when I lose. Everybody gave me a hard time for selling a bunch of my items and not selling my nugget. I didn't even notice that I had a nugget. <laughs> like, I would have sold it if I had seen it in my bag. I just, right. I guess, missed it somehow. Guys, what does know. the Moonstone do? Evolves it evolves certain Nina. Pokemon. Evolves any Pokemon? Certain Pokemon. Oh, okay. Nina I was like, Nina, any Pokemon. Nina, 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 Clefairy. Jigglypuff. Jiggly dick. More like it. Jiggle D's nuts. <laughs> so why did I laugh <laughs> at that? You redneck there for a second. Uh -huh. nuts. <laughs> Jiggle D nuts. So, oh my god, speaking of nuts, okay. I saw um, a SUV with like those truck nuts. They're like hanging down from their oh. the back of their car. Yeah, like the ball sacks that hang from your trailer hitch. Yeah, that's the one. Those are so trashy looking. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know why I, need, I had a friend that had those. Well, he wasn't a friend. He was like acquaintance from high school that had one. I don't know why you would want your car to have balls. I don't. I Speaking of which, this friends. Actually, this is kind of like a weird story, but I had a party at my house just a couple years ago, and. He came to that party. I don't. I didn't invite him or anything. I think he just came because somebody else that I knew brought him with him. Anyways, like almost a year later, I got a call from the police asking me to come in for questioning because, like, related to the guy that came to my party. Um, because apparently, what? after he left my party, he like had some sexual relations with some girl, and she accused him of raping him. What? Bruh. I, th I think it was like the type of rape where it was just like <laughs> she was drunk and he had sex with her and she was like, oh, I was too drunk to consent. So it was like, I guess, would you call that like a half rape? <laughs> no, that I mean, it's rape, technically. I mean, it's not the type of law. rape where he's just like, oops, that's not what I wanted. Where he is like, like holds her down as like, does it against her will. It's one of those... What would that even, what's that called? Where you like? It's like she it. wanted it when she was drunk, but now she woke up. She's like, oh, maybe she. It's still, have done it's that. still, it's still, it's still, it's still technically it. rape. Yeah. But. Yeah, but I, I would consider that. Is there like first degree, second degree rapes and stuff? Is that like a thing? There probably is something. They probably do categorize categorize it some way. I just I'm not how. familiar with the criminal justice system yeah, to I'm that extent. I can't, I can't help you. I'm sorry. But yeah, but anyways, I had to go into like the police. Uh, and like answer That's questions related really to him. That's actually a crazy story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was actually. I was kind of scared of because I think I might have told you about it before. Maybe not. But yeah, I was like really scared to go in and answer police questions because I think I think alcohol was involved with the story because I at the party was at my house and there was alcohol there and I wasn't 21 at the time of oh, okay. the party happening and so I was really afraid. But they didn't do anything about that. I don't think that they really cared. 
No, I, I feel aspect. like the rape is probably way worse than a little bit of underage drinking. <laughs> yeah, it's probably what's more under the radar than anything else. Yeah. But, yeah, it was a pretty crazy thing. I'm not sure what the consensus ever was with that. So I think she just had some, like, really strong alcohol or something that night and... Blacked out or something? Maybe. I don't think she was blacked out. I think she was conscious. She was just, like, I just think it was probably, like, one of the situations where she wouldn't have had sex with him if she wasn't drunk. And then she just got mad that he took advantage of her bad judgment since she was drunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Wow, that's really, that's that's crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. I kind of forgot about that story. The party. There's like so many just like <laughs> stories that like have happened in my life that I forget about. And then like one little tiny thing like, rem like reminds me of it. And I'm just like, oh, I forgot that happened. I could talk about that. That was a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna switch back to no. Maybe know. maybe he skull fucked her. Maybe that was the issue. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, it all comes around full circle. <laughs> full circle, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I can't do this. I literally can't do this. I, I I am having so much trouble trying to beat this this game. I can't believe what, how what many you, times I played Fire Red with, specifically. It's everything. It's <laughs> <laughs> and is the fact that I've had like deleted moves and stuff is making things so much more difficult than it needs to be. I mean, that's because the point. like I can't get past now. I can't beat the Machamp because my Alakazam is too weak to kill it, like in one shot. And the and the Machamp is just sat here. He sets up on me and then he then he destroys me. But by the time I leave this this lead four member, I've lost all my money and I have to go and buy more revives and stuff. And I every time I get the chance, just go to one island and train. You shouldn't tell me to do that. There isn't really anything to train on one island. Though. Like I was just at the there island. There is this, like I... a bajillion trainers. I did some really solid training in the previous episode. Cause I was just there. I feel like I didn't level up much from those islands. Really? I love. I, I probably got like three or four levels for my Pokemon. That's like a good amount. The one thing that's bothering me about this game right now, the only thing, Fuck. is Fuck. that any Pokemon I hit Holy regularly shit. lives on like two hit points every fucking time. And it's like, just die! What is going on? I just, it's like a, a, a tiny just slither. Die. What are just you doing? Kill yourself. Ridiculous. Is Pokemon Fire Red considered to be a harder Pokemon game? I, I said that last. I think it is. It's, it's, the, the, the Elite Four members are stupidly high for some reason. It doesn't make sense. Like we've played this game casually, pretty much casually throughout the way, and it's we've got to this kind of level, and it's like, why are we struggling? We should be, we sh they, the gym leader should, the elite formula should Fuck be this level. It doesn't make sense. Like, I the thing like, is, I feel like I fought almost every single trainer I possibly could, so I feel I like I shouldn't be under level to, like, at all. Yeah, I, I thought, there was, there was a few sections where, like, like, I would get behind, and then I would skip some trainers, but for the most part, I feel like I got like a lot of trainers, and even if I had fought all the trainers that I didn't fight, I feel like it still wouldn't have been enough. Like I'm like struggling right yeah, now. Yeah, it's stupid. It's to actually fight stupid. this fucking person, and I just can't. Uh, what should I even use? I don't even know at this point. Here, I'll switch back to you. Because you can't even go. Wait, you can't even go to the fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh island until post game, right? You can't. No. I, I thought you so. Have to, you have to. So if there's extra training at all that you want to do, it has to be on one, two, or three islands. Which there's there's a lot of trainers on those islands, so like, it probably balances out at least a little bit to, and then gives you a little bit of challenge still in the in the uh, right, yeah. the elite four. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. I think if you play it without going as fast as you possibly can, you're probably going to be in a better place. Um, possibly. Thing is, I haven't really gone, like, I've gone as fast as I can, but at the same time, I haven't gone super fast, because I'm, like, not super good, so I'm still, like, having to go at a decent casual speed, since I'm not, like, super well acquainted with Pokemon. And so I fought, right. like, well, I that's like, also part of your problem, too. I fought, like, almost every trainer, though, like, especially oh, in all fuck. the gyms. Come on. I don't know. I don't know why I, I seem so Here, underleveled, I'm gonna, but... I'm gonna just fucking take the chance. Please don't. The other no, thing is, though, I... fucker. None of us have really fought any wild Pokemon, which aren't you supposed to kind of do that while training as well? Or no? Sometimes you, you get more experience from trainers. Mm. Fuck. Fuck. F fucking fuck. Fuck shit. You know what I might just do? What? I'm thinking about just going to get Moltres. Moltres? Okay. You have fun. Oh, fuck. I forgot <laughs> that. It's, God, fuck. You get that in Pokemon <laughs> Mansion, right? 
No, you get Moltres on uh, Mount Mortar. No, not Mount Mortar. That's a lie. It's the mount. I don't know what the mount's called, but it's in. It's the mountain at the end of one island, I think. It's Ooh. Mount Ember. That's the one. That's the one. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're at the end of the episode. I Wait, do you believe. actually get him there? Are you sure you get him <laughs> that? Yes, you get yeah, him at Mount Ember on one island. I don't think I, I was there. I didn't see him. <laughs> He's uh, way up top. You have to go through like a cave and stuff. There's a whole. Mm -hmm section that you probably didn't get to. In the original game, he's in Victory Road. Yes, in the original Wait, game, he's in is he, Victory is Road. Is he past, like, that hot spring? Yes. Yeah. Way there up a, there. I don't... There is a way to go past there. the hot spring? Yep. Yeah. There's what? all kinds of stuff. There's, like, a lot of trainers up there, too. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know perfect. that. I should shit. probably I go back know. there, then. See? See? I told you. It's you didn't tell me anything. I did. I told you all kinds of things, and you weren't listening. You never listened to me. Let's end the fucking episode fucking now. How about that? Idiot. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Fire Red versus. My name is Josh. My name is also Josh. And my name is Luke. Wow. <laughs>